Mario, do you need a pen or do you have a pen? Well, I am in a philosophy club as a vice president, so I'm a part of hosting it. Uh, so we decided to hold it today, and I'm supposed to present what we're talking about. It's a, you know, it's a big issue in the industry right now, the music industry, with um, you know creativity and copyright laws. So we want to you know show the uh, students here what. Uh, what the, um, you know, how it applies to everyday life and, you know, how uh, it applies to all of us. Well, it's a unique topic and there's, um, I think a lot of people have a lot to say about it because it covers popular music, which uh, many people listen to. And uh, again, the ethics of it is something interesting to debate and go over. Uh, that, yeah, I think a lot of people could get involved. And then there will be a panel of speakers. I think there is uh, who have different things to say about the topic. If you sample a millisecond of something and they know what it is, you can use it for infringement. Enforcement is everything, and it's extraordinarily difficult to enforce any copyright. There's a lot of tension between um, sort of copyright holders who are individuals who have very little power to police their intellectual property and corporations who have uh, every resource in the world to police any intellectual property that they own. There is a certain level of creativity involved with creating a sound, but when you sample, I believe that you can create something that is new, refreshing, and inventive. I, I'm not against it uh, because I have friends that are in that industry and they actually think think it's like it's a necessary evil. There could be issues when if somebody takes a piece of a composition and says, I actually was the one that originally wrote this composition, that could be an issue. That's I'm not undermining that at all. Uh, but I think it is more so in this day and age with the way the social media is expanded, I think it's much more a uh, useful, practical way to get attention for your music. Yes, exactly. It's about yes, taking other, what other people have created and remixing it, and in the process of that remixing, you actually create something that's new, different, and original. I believe that if you create something, even if it's based on someone else's work and people are enjoying it, that you should you deserve the right to make money off of it. Everyone should create their own. Artwork and like music, just that. Like, if everyone's just copying it, everything, then that's like, I don't know, it's gonna ruin every like the artwork. But I had a good time, I enjoyed it, it was pretty interesting overall. I learned a lot about copyright.